Hello and welcome to 8th grade, 8th grade science at Reebok Middle School. This is our classroom. Welcome back everyone. This is our board where we go to work. That's right. Now, from time to time we'll have, um, this is our tutor board, first of all. And we were recently discussing the properties of matter and how to calculate matter. And we have tutoring when, that's right, Monday from 2 to 3.30 p.m. This is where we keep our extra credit so students can come and pick a topic and research and write a two-page essay with correct grammar and get extra point. This right here, if you've missed a day, we have this says, guess what it says? It says absent, question mark, catch up with some fries. So you are responsible for copying the notes for the days you missed. So man, so you can see. If you weren't here, get your notes. All right. Now, what is this thing here for? Now, this flip-down chart basically helps to um, is where we write our notes. So that means whatever we do for that day, we write the notes and put them here, so a student can actually come back and flip up and see all the notes which we've taken and then they can come back and copy all the notes that they've missed. So in essence, you never miss a day in class if you actually come and get the notes, all right? Here's the big part of our tour, that right there. This is the school's website. Here you will go to www. or you can just say http colon forward slash forward slash Duval Schools with an S dot org and it's forward slash RMS which stands for Revolt Middle School. All right, you go there and then you will see everything about our school and you can also be able to click on the faculty and staff and then that's where you can go to our classroom website. On our wall, you will see all the properties of um, matter that we've talked about. That's our periodic table. And this is our famous uh, word wall designed by our own eighth grade students where they're talking about genes and genetics and heredity and how traits are passed on. And a uh, few students have made like Punnett Square. So that right there is a Punnett Square. All right, and then we'll move over here and it just says FYI and it talks about just news, typical things that are going on right now that we may find an article and we may post this on the website to get everybody to see what's going on, all right? And here is our wall where we post on um, different posters of different things that we're discussing. Here, right down that wall right there is where we just discuss um, our posters, uh, whether it be cells, the atom, or the nervous system. That's where we do that right there. That right there is just a handiwork of the students who um, were doing um, longitudinal wave. And that one right there is a transverse wave. So we have quite a bit of smart individuals who are doing a lot of work. I just wanted to commend them for the work that they're doing. All right? So that's the tour of our um, eighth grade classroom, science on the science wing. All right? So that's our tour. All right, one more thing I wanted to touch on as we move around our classroom today. As you see, we're walking right over here. And right here is where we put our scientific method into practice scientific method into practice where you make an observation first of all you ask a question form a hypothesis make an observation test the hypothesis and then you perform your experiment so that right there is the actual pictorial explanation of how we think scientifically before we break I want to get you to see the class rules so if you're a parent that is just viewing this um, um, introduction to our 8th grade science class. Now this is Mr. Guy's class. So here are some of the rules that we have in class. It says line up quietly and then enter classroom and so forth. We're not going to spend all day, but just to let you know, we do have some, some rules. Another one is pants must be at waist level with a belt. That's big. No hats or hoodies in the classroom. Name tag must be worn at all times. Now, we're backing up. And um, these are some of our safety that we have inside our classroom right here. Wear goggles, apron, and safety gloves whenever we're gonna be working with um, different chemicals. And here, as we move back, we're gonna come right 
into this thing right here. This is the meat of everything that we do. We're talking about depth of knowledge. This is our um, depth of knowledge wheel where we're talking about from level one, level two, level three to level four. And a level one question will simply mean just calculate or define. Uh, level two would simply mean graph or classify or organize information into a certain um, way or pattern or just summarize. Level three, we're talking about accessing um, knowledge which was already um, been exposed to or explain or compare and contrast. Level four is our target. This is where we want to be. Level four is really where we want to be, right there. And what we're saying there is kind of like, all right, what you just learned, I want you to put that into practice where you can design, connect, synthesize, apply, or critique, or analyze, or create, or prove something you've learned. All right, so that's called our DOK, Depth of Knowledge Wheel, right there. All right, so I'm gonna flip this around. I wanna say, hey, this is Mr. Guy. 8th grade science of Rebound Middle School. Want to tell you thanks for stopping by for our tour and we hope that you come back soon. Take care, kids. Hey, I'll see you soon. Have a blessed day. Here's our speed tour. 8th grade science classroom. This is our speed tour and the time is time to go.